PS5 Pro has made it once again into the gaming news rotation, and this time coming from a little more reputable sources, so we're going to be talking about that. We'll also be talking about PSVR 2 manuals being in somebody's hands at the moment, and this says a lot for what's to come in the near future. Before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video. It really does a lot to get these videos out to more people, and I appreciate it a ton. Now let's talk about this PS5 Pro and apparently new Xbox dev kit as well that has gotten into game developers' hands. Now, reputable data miner and frequent Rockstar Games Insider Tez2 has stated on the GTA forums that new mid-gen upgrade dev kits, presumably meaning the PS5 Pro and a new Xbox Series X, are in the hands of developers in response to another GTA forum user, Tez2 has said, in quotes, most AAA studios should have received the dev kits of midlife upgrades or should receive them by the start of the new year. Tez2 later doubled down on his claim saying for sure when asked if he knew the details for sure or if it was a prediction. Insider gaming sources have said that these claims are not of the PS5 console schedule to release in 2023 and that was the console that they said would come with an optional disk drive and that it would somehow fit into the casing of the console to make it look seamless. So that is not the console that they're referring to. Now, they also say that it's not uncommon for developers to get their hands on such hardware a couple of years before public release. Test 2's claims could be accurate, but as of yet, they were unable to verify them with their own sources. So this is one of those situations where somebody pretty reliable has some information or believes to have some information, and it's still up in the air whether it's true or not, at least based on sources like Tom Henderson, who usually have been right about leaking things, or at least as far as I know, has always been right about leaking hardware. Uh, so this is one of those interesting situations where we kind of got to look at it from a bit of a, a pessimistic point of view, but also an optimistic point of view, whereas it's coming from somebody pretty reliable, uh, but at the same time, you know, somebody we know who has, you know, for example, leaked the edge controller is saying that they can verify it with their own sources. So it's one of those things that's up in the air, but it's interesting because we've been talking about PS5 Pros and next gen or mid gen refresh Xboxes as well. Uh, and it seems like it's starting to look more and more likely. Do I think that this is actually going to happen? I don't know. I think that a mid gen refresh could happen just because it is going to be a cause for people to double dip into this generation, right? So people who bought the PS5 would then buy another PS5, which would be the PS5 Pro. So they would have bought two consoles in this one single generation. It, it is a way to make money. It is a way for things to work in Sony's favor. So I do think that's definitely a way they could go, especially because they really considered the PS4 and PS4 Pro sales to be one. Is it possible that the PS5 and PS5 Pro would be sales that would be considered in the same category as well? So it gets people to double dip and it also gives you better performance. And some people like really do want a PS5 Pro, even if it isn't uh, being fully utilized yet, People sometimes want the best of the best. For example, the RTX 4090 uh, is so fast that CPUs of today can't keep up with it, but yet people still want it. So it's one of those situations, although we may not need it, people do want it, right? So I think a PS5 Pro could still do well. And I do think it is very likely that we're going to see a mid-gen refresh. And the more we are hearing about these things, the more I am feeling like, yes, this is likely going to be a case. And I think a lot of people are gonna be happy about that who are super hardcore gamers that love to game on console and want to be able to get a mid-gen refresh uh, to keep up as, you know, these generations sometimes last six, seven years. So it's a long time for one piece of hardware. So there is benefits to it, but I do understand those that don't want to upgrade, but having that option, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, next, we're going to be talking about the PSVR 2. Obviously, a lot surrounding this. You know, there's a lot of rumors that go around. We see a lot of leaks, uh, but this looks like the PSVR manual has been officially leaked. And this is coming from a Twitter account at SupaHusband starting the PSVR 2 manuals today, he says. So we basically get a look at the PSVR 2 manual. There's nothing too crazy here. It's just really the cover of the manual. It says PlayStation VR 2. I'll have it up on screen for you guys. But I mean, this maybe means that we are closer than we think to seeing the PSVR 2. I mean, there is that discussion of that PlayStation showcase that never happened. And uh, maybe this is a sign. Who knows? I don't really want to harp on that too much since... We're still a little scarred from the fact that we haven't gotten one yet. But overall, it's looking like PSVR 2 is, you know, really well on its way. It means that it's probably on schedule and that we are likely going to see it uh, early 2023 like they told us we would. So 
there's that to look forward to. I know it's one of those niche products that not everybody is into, but for those of you that are into it, yeah, it's looking good for PSVR 2, but really nothing else to extract here, at least not on my end of things. If you guys have something to add, please just let me know in the comments. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know. What do you think of the PS5 Pro? Do you think we will be getting a PS5 Pro? Would you buy a PS5 Pro? I kind of put a poll out there and it seems kind of split right now, but I'm going to leave it for 24 hours to really see uh, where we are sitting there. Uh, but it seems like people are split, but more on the side of getting it at the moment. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, like the video, share the video. It helps the channel a ton and I appreciate it a lot. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description and I will talk to you guys all on the next one. Take care.